To find the most important day in history, we must go back to that evening almost 2,000 years ago in the Garden of Gethsemane when Jesus Christ knelt in intense prayer and offered himself as a ransom for our sins. It was during this great and infinite sacrifice of unparalleled suffering in both body and spirit that Jesus Christ, even God, bled at every pore. Later that night, Jesus was brought before religious and political authorities who mocked him, beat him, and sentenced him to a shameful death. He hung in agony upon the cross until finally it was finished. His lifeless body was laid in a borrowed tomb. And then, on the morning of the third day, Jesus Christ, the Son of Almighty God, emerged from the tomb as a glorious, resurrected being of splendor, light, and majesty. This is what we celebrate on Easter Sunday. We celebrate life. Because of Jesus Christ, we will rise from the despair of death and embrace those we love, shedding tears of overwhelming joy and overflowing gratitude. Because of Jesus Christ, we will exist as eternal beings, worlds without end. Because of Jesus Christ, our sins cannot only be erased, they can be forgotten. We can become purified and exalted, holy. Because of our beloved Savior, we can forever drink from the fountain of water that springs up into eternal life. We can dwell forever in the mansions of our eternal King in unimaginable glory and in perfect happiness. Those who find a way to truly behold the man find the doorway to life's greatest joys and the balm to life's most demanding despairs. So when you're encompassed by sorrows and grief, Behold the man. When you feel lost or forgotten, behold the man. When you are despairing, deserted, doubting, damaged, or defeated, behold the man. He will comfort you. He will heal you and give meaning to your journey. He will pour out his spirit and fill your heart with exceeding joy. He gives power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. The disappointments, betrayals, persecutions you have faced, gone. The suffering, heartache, guilt, shame, and anguish you have passed through, gone, forgotten. Is it any wonder that we talk of Christ, we rejoice in Christ, we preach of Christ, we prophesy of Christ, that our children may know to what source they may look for remission of their sins. Is it any wonder that we strive with all our hearts to truly behold the man? When we truly behold the man, we learn of him and seek to align our lives with him. We repent and strive to refine our natures and daily grow a little closer to him. We trust him. We show our love for him by keeping his commandments and by living up to our sacred covenants. In other words, we become his disciples. His refining light saturates our souls. His grace uplifts us. Our burdens are lightened. Our peace deepened. 
when we truly behold the man. My beloved brothers and sisters, I testify that the most important day in the history of mankind was the day when Jesus Christ, the living Son of God, won the victory over death and sin for all of God's children. In the sacred name of Jesus Christ, amen.